The Concussion Education Safety and Awareness Program is led by medical students and neuroscience students from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. What is a concussion? A concussion is a reduction in brain function caused by trauma. The problem with concussions is that it is not a structural injury, meaning that no matter how we look at the brain, whether we use CT or MRI, we won't be able to see the injury. Think of the head like an egg. On the outside is the shell, a lot like our skull. And on the inside, the yolk is a lot like the brain. And the egg white is a lot like the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds our brain. Now, if I were to take two eggs and I set one still and I shook the other one around, from the outside, they may look the same. The difference is going to be on the inside. If I take the one that I left still and crack it, the yolk looks normal. But if I take the one that I shook around, the yolk is damaged. If we think back to the brain, in the same way that when the yolk hits the shell, it's damaged, when the brain hits against the skull, it causes damage as well. And this damage is what causes concussion. Now if I take my egg, and I put it into a helmet, and I strap it in, and I bring out another egg, and I plan to drop them, the one without the helmet cracks, but the one wearing the helmet may look okay from the outside. But if we take a look inside, it's clear that some damage has occurred. It's the same thing when we put our head into a helmet. We may protect against skull fractures, but we can't prevent concussion. If you ever hit your head, whether you're wearing a helmet or not, and you start to experience symptoms, such as maybe your head's hurting a little bit, maybe you're irritable or upset, maybe you have some sensitivity to light or sensitivity to sound, Maybe you're feeling a little bit nauseous, you have some vomiting, or you're dizzy. Or maybe you're just confused, and you're not sure what just happened. But most of all, maybe you're just not feeling yourself. If this ever happens to you, we want you to go see a doctor. And what the doctor is going to tell you is that you need to take it easy for a few days. And then you can start reintroducing activities as you're capable. But first, if your symptoms are bad, it's time for you to get some rest for a couple of days before you start any activities. We like to think of recovery kind of like high jump. You should start with an easy activity, like walking or listening to quiet music. And if you're able to do that without symptoms, in the same way you would raise the bar in high jump, it's time to try a more strenuous activity. You might start with running, but if you find that you get symptoms again, it's time to rest. Then, the next day, you may try running again. If you're able to clear it without any symptoms, then it's time to go talk to your doctor. And your doctor might say that if you're feeling a lot better, you might want to try going to school. But if when you're at school, you start to have symptoms again, and you're not feeling yourself, then it's time to go home and rest, and you can try again tomorrow. When you're ready to try again, and you're feeling better, you should check with your doctor. If he or she thinks you're better, then they'll say you should try to go to school again. And if you're able to get through a whole day of school symptom-free, then congratulations, you've returned to learn. Thanks for watching. For more information, follow us on Twitter.